Problem number four, we're given the graph of f, and we have to label the following statements as true or false. If the, function, if the statement is false, we have to state which condition of continuity fails. All right. So with part a, we see f has a discontinuity at x equals negative 3 um, because the function has a sharp point at this value. Well, here's x equals negative 3. Well, there's no breaks or jumps or gaps. We can actually draw right through this point. There, the function is continuous at x equals negative 3. So this is false. All right, f is continuous at x equals negative 3. For part b, f has a discontinuity at x equals negative 1 because the function does not exist at this value. Well, let's go to x equals negative 1. That's right here. Lo and behold, we do have a discontinuity right here. Okay, we've got ourselves a jump. All right. So this part is true. However, the reason is not true. The reason says because the function does not exist at this value. But that dot right there shows us that the function does exist. All right. However, let's look quickly at C. F has a discontinuity at x equals negative 1 because the limit of the function as x approaches this value does not exist. Well, now if we check out the limit as x approaches negative 1, the pen tips are not heading to the same spot. That means the limit does not exist. All right, the limit from the left does not equal the limit from the right. So the limit does not exist. So this is a true statement. This is a false statement all right, because this is the true part right down here. The, the wrong reason is given here. Okay. The correct reason is given in part C. For part D, f is continuous at x equals 0. Here's x equals 0 right there. That's our function when x is 0. Yeah, we got no issues there. That's fine. That's a true statement. Part E, f has a discontinuity at x equals 1. Yeah, it does. There's a discontinuity right there. We've got to hop up to this point and then right back down. Now remember, when this situation occurs, it's because the limit is equal to one value, in this case negative 2, and the function is equal to another value, in this case negative 1. So let's see if we have the correct reason. Because the limit of the function as x approaches this value does not exist. No, the limit does exist. So this is a false statement. The correct reason is because f of negative 1 does not equal the limit as x approaches negative 1 of our function. The value of the function does not equal the limit. That's the correct reason. And finally, for part f, the function has a discontinuity at x equals 3 because the function does not exist at this value. Here's x equals 3. Yep, that's right. No value there. So, true. For problem number five, state whether or not the following functions are continuous at x equals 3. If the function is discontinuous at x equals 3, then give a reason why. Part A, cosine. Cosine is always continuous. All right, so uh, state whether or not. So yes, it's continuous. Y equals cotangent of x. All right, now cotangent's graph, as we're learning, does something like this. Cotangent's graph definitely has some discontinuities. Okay, I know when x is equal to 3, it's actually down here. There's no discontinuity there. It's a little bit after 3. It's actually at 3.14159, better known as pi. That's where the discontinuity occurs. But at 3, we're okay. So yes, this is continuous. Then we have y equals e to the x minus 3. Well, we know about e. e is continuous. e to the 0, that's fine. No big deal. That's equal to 1. This is continuous. How about y equals the natural log of x minus 3? Well, if x is equal to 3, if we plug in 3, then we have the natural log of 0. And we know that that does not exist. All right, so this is a discontinuity at x equals 3 because, right, the function does not exist at x equals 3. 
y equals the square root of x minus 2. If we plug in 3, we get 3 minus 2, which is 1. Square root of 1 is fine. This function is fine for x equals 3. All right, if we had looking to see whether this function was continuous at x equals 0, that would be a different story. Now we're trying to take the square root of negative 2. But when we're looking at when x is 3, 3 minus 2 under the radical is totally fine. And finally for f, we have a piecewise defined function. When x is not 3, it's one thing. When x is 3, it's the other thing. So we know that f of 3 is equal to 1. The question is, what's the limit as x approaches 3 of the function? Well, when x is not 3, that's when we're interested in the limit, because the limit doesn't care about what's happening at 3. It cares about what's happening as we get closer and closer to 3. If we plug 3 in here, we have 9 minus 7, which is 2. Wait a minute. The value of the function doesn't equal the limit. So we have a discontinuity because f of 3 it does not equal the limit as x approaches 3 of the function. The limit does not equal the value of the function. That's why there's a discontinuity.